you guys, it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo Cunny Corso. So I'm about to do some work. I'm going to clean out my kennels and I'm going to add more sand. We had about a week of really heavy rain and it really just stood a number on the um, on the kennels. And so we got to get them clean. <laughs> and so we got to get them cleaned up. Um, but I wanted to take a moment and do a video for you guys with the puppies. And so Blondie is like 100% fed up with these puppies' antics. They are, um, they're just being very hyper. They haven't been out in a while, which is like whatever, you know. And so it's expected. I, I would, I would expect it. But, um, but, um, but anyway, but these puppies are, are Blondie's kind of like enemy in a way. Like, so, yeah, they're, well, yeah, they're her enemies. Well, two of them are, are her enemies' children. And, um, and they're actually, what's funny is that they're siblings. So these two puppies right here are her half siblings and so um anyway but she's the alpha here and so she'll accept them but there's she's gonna be less loving than she would on her own offspring or even on her grandbabies even though they're family doesn't matter what is it really are you serious no way it's like right here Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. You could probably touch your hair if you did this. Okay, I didn't know that. I actually thought that I had like had a lot of hair um, like breakage because since moving here. That's wild. Well, that makes me feel pretty. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so I've I've I'm not. I was gonna name my boy my preacher boy. I was gonna name him Pain. After major pain, but it doesn't really Preacher, work, unfortunately. Ah, Whoa! Uh, it just doesn't work. Remy! Good, good girl! Good. Yay! Good girl! Good girl! Um, so these puppies are not trained. I want to be very clear. This is the training. We're just getting started. So, um, so anyway, so don't expect puppies that have recall because <laughs> these really puppies have literally never been worked with so but they're doing well for not having recall. Mm, yeah yeah i would say so yeah i mean this is how you do it you know i mean this is how we do it this is how we do um but the i guess what i would say is that like a lot of people would use treats and stuff like that and you know that'll work i mean it's not a problem but like i just just don't typically um Mostly, honestly, I just, I just don't keep treats. I just don't keep treats on hand like that. And so, um, and I mean, I just, for me, it's just, if, if I can get them to do it without it, then it's just what it is, what it is. So for me, you know, I use my voice. I use praise. I use, um, very clear body language and stuff like that. So because she's a super dominant female, <clears throat> that's why. And so they know, they know that they have to communicate to her very clearly her position and how to be respectful and what respect looks like. Because being the alpha, she's not ever had to really like show respect. Now, her mother, she would have to show respect to, and she did spend a lot of time with her mother. Um, but, but, um... But anyway, but they're just, they're learning. It's, see, dogs, structure, dogs are the type that they would rather get it done. Psh, come here. Oi. Come here, boy. Is he going to poop? Come here. Psh. Let's walk away. Let's create a draw. So that's one of the things that I do when I need a dog to listen. Come on, puppy. Blondie, get up. Let's go. Now. Come on, puppy. Good boy, good boy, good boy. And then we're going to praise him so he knows that that was what we wanted. And so, so the reason why I create the draw is because 
dogs want to be in a pack. They want to be with their with their people, um, with their with their fellow family, and so that's more valuable than anything to a dog. Well, to most dogs, I will say there are some that could care less. Well, not just no. I mean, I mean, like what I mean by that is. Um, what I mean by that is like breeds, breeds that just like don't, don't care at all. Okay. So we got a little independent dude. Hey, hello. Creature. What do you mean? How do you not know that? Oh, forgot. That's like sacrilege. Forget when a preacher, the, the, the golden child, the, the prodigal son. In a while. Oh, you see oh, you're a funny girl. You're a funny yes. girl. Yeah, you are. <laughs> this is a Mad Mortigan daughter. Oh, she's are. out of um, Mad Mortigan and Aria. Oh. She's she's quick, man. She's smart. I like her a lot. She can be noisy like her father. I will say that. But um, but you know, yeah. Her name is Yuki. Yuki. Where is he? He really did just decide he didn't want to be over here. Major. Don't call him that. It's not his name. I, I changed it. I don't like Major. It was gonna be if it was gonna be anything, it was gonna be pain. Major pain. But no, it, pain doesn't work. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Look at you. Did you good boy? Did you good boy? Oh, you're getting in trouble now, boy. So, anybody want to guess why he got in trouble just then, you guys? So he got in trouble because he took off and he was gone from the pack and Blondie don't miss nothing. And she wanted him to know that he messed up and that he's not as dominant as he thinks he is. And so she went and she disciplined him just there. That was a straight on discipline. And that's a perfect example of how submission can absolutely be taken. You know what I mean? She did not ask that puppy for submission. She straight put his butt down. And I uh, see Yuki, see that respect right there? It's the wag, the, the, she turned her head, lowered her head, lowered the ears, wagged the tail. Um, that's a sign of respect. She's a good girl. Smart girl. These guys here, I'm not surprised, they're preacher offspring. And so they're going to be um, more headstrong. See that? See how he just did the head turn? See, there he goes. He's going off again. Come on, boy. Come on. Where are you going? Where are you going? Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Look at him. See how he was giving her side eye? Good boy. Yeah. Did you get in trouble? Did you get in trouble? Did you get in trouble? Um. Hmm. What we call him? I'm just thinking about it. Because I need to get a name for him. He's such a gorgeous dog. Um. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> Oh, God. Even as respectful as she is, she's like, nope, I'm not giving it up. Very much her father's daughter. Look at, okay. So now she's actually inviting some play. That's not bad. So she laid down the rules. She was tough. And now she's going to do some playing. See how in the in the play, the, the invitation to play is in the is in the exaggerated play on her end. So she didn't just take it and run and go eat it. She grabbed it. Ah, shh, don't tear it up. Shh. And she's like, she's playing. She's got these exaggerated movements. And so, and now she's, oh Lord. <laughs> yeah, so now she's she's playing with this puppy. She's not hurting her. She's playing with her. And she's putting her down. And then Velocity comes in. Velocity's second in command. She's older than Blondie. Um, but, you know, she's second in command. She doesn't understand why she's being Yeah. Yeah, look at her wagging that tail, wagging that tail, giving the submission. <clears throat> and so it's just a way of, so one of the things that I've often told people, you shouldn't always put your dog down in submission when they've done something wrong. Sometimes you should just do it when you're playing and just, just periodically, just put them down. Just, just not as a way of like, get down. It's like a, it's well, just getting them. It's, it's a way of communicating your position. So we even do that with like very small puppies when they start yeah. like growling and stuff. You just put them on their back just like to play with them and stuff like that. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hello. So that's Frankie out there screaming, really which I love. He's having fun, man. 
It's so cool to have an aviary. So loud that we have to make sure nothing's going on. We have to like look and be like, you good? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, 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 no. Come on. Come Get on, your boy. butt back over here now. Psh. Oi. Psh. Come on. Get back over here now. He totally does. Hey, no. All right, let's move back. Let's move back. Let's pull. Let's demand that he come. We will leave him. He is not going to get his way. Oh. <laughs> All right, so let's see what. <laughs> so she's just playing right now. It looks tough, but she's really just playing. She's just playing with her. You can tell by the jumping around, the bouncing around she's doing, the running around. She's just playing. Look at him. Look at him coming. I need to get that cough checked out. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I hear him coughing. I don't know what that is. We're going to get that checked out. <clears throat> it could be allergies because everybody's got allergies right now. Or it could be something else. Hey, psh, get out of it. No, sir. Hey, 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 hey. Get out of that chicken feed. Psh, no. No. Well, he's really coughing it up. You all right, bro? It don't sound good, my boy. Mm. Move. Go, 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 go. Get. Uh -uh, it's not for you. You know what I'm going to do? Psh. Cover it. Because they'll, keep, they'll keep coming uh, back for it. used to being played with like that. And so she's like hiding now from mommy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh what God, is... Her? Come on. Mm -hmm. Well, that's part of it. I mean, that's part of being a dog is playing, you know. That's just part of it. And as the alpha, that's her. She needs to be able to do that with them because, you know, it's kind of like it can't be all discipline all the time. You know what I mean? You have to show affection. You have to have a bond. Otherwise, that res otherwise the discipline develops into resentment. So there's got to be balance. If you're going to be a disciplinarian, um, you've got to also be very nurturing and loving so that you can have a strong, um, stable relationship. You know, this puppy is really surprising me. She was not any a dog that I was really expecting to really have great structure. Um, and um, she really surprised. She's very nice. I wonder how she's going to turn out. Good girl, Remy. Good girl. Good girl. Oh yeah, Yuki. Remy, come on. Oh, Leafus, this happens to me, y'all. Both of them are staying back there. Come on, Bobby. It is shady, but I also think that they are intimidated. So let's see. Let's move to the far corner. Because they might think that this is still close enough that they don't need to move any they're, farther. They're very slowly like tracing us on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, uh. Let's come all the way over to the far yeah, corner. Yeah. Come on! Velocity, don't give them that idea. Velocity, get back over here right now. Come Let's go. Velocity. Come, now. Velocity, get in here. Yeah, they're not going to do it. So they're way, they're way up there. Anyway, it is kind of hot. They probably want some water. So I'm going to take them in and I'm going to, um, and I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and just get them out of this. So anyway, what you just saw there with Velocity walking up and licking Blondie's face, that was a sign of, um, a rare sign of submission that Velocity doesn't always show. It's not, I wouldn't say submission, but it is a sign of respect. The reason I say submission is because it's, it's a, She's so loud. Or he. <laughs> um, I, 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 no, Remy. Remy, don't, don't follow him. Girl, get your butt over here. Oh, he's a he's a butt man. He's a whole butt and a half. He is just like his father at that age. 
he is just like his father. He is like, I'm going to do what I want. And, um, yeah, he's going to, he's going to be one. All right. Well, anyway, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Bye.